In this video, we're going to perform a few similar actions which all have one thing in common. You'll be using the Move tool in the Sites menu. Let's go to the Sites view of the training site. You can try this on your own site if you care to, and if you don't want to move a real page, you can create one and not publish it, and then use it as your experiment page. So here we are in the Sites menu. First thing we'll do is correct the unique name on a people profile. Recall that when you create a new people profile, you must enter the unique name twice. The first time upon page creation and then a second time in the page properties. The first entry of the unique name defines the URL for the page and allows the individual to sign in to update their own profile themselves if you have that setting enabled. The second entry of the unique name adds the email address to the profile and can be changed anytime in the page properties. The first one's more complicated to change, so that's what we're going to do now. Let's use a profile I've set up for this exercise. I'll proceed to the Grad Students People directory, located under the Main People directory, and select my individual, who we'll call John Taylor, by clicking the checkbox to the left of their name. This person's name is just a page title as far as Adobe is concerned. Keep that in the back of your mind for subsequent exercises. Once I check the checkbox, I'll see this utility menu appear at the top of the screen. We want to click the one that says Move. This takes us to the Rename page. Here's where we can change the unique name and the page title, the person's name in this case, if necessary. I'll type a new unique name into the field labeled Page Name After Move. We need to use all lowercase, no punctuation, no spaces, and remember that a unique name is usually eight characters or fewer. Once we've filled in the unique name, we're going to click Next in the upper right corner. We'll see now that we're back in the Sites menu, but we're not done yet. We still need to select a parent page. Since right now we're only correcting the unique name, we'll leave this profile where it is, under Graduate Students. I still have to select a Graduate Students page as the parent page. Then I'll click Move in the upper right corner. So that's changing unique name. What else can we do with move? The next thing we'll do is move a people profile. Let's pretend we want to move someone from graduate students to staff. We'll find John Taylor again under graduate students and select using the checkbox. Then click move. Does this look familiar? Now instead of changing any names, we're going to click next and advance to the screen where we select the new parent page. Then I'll select the checkbox next to staff and then click Move. Yes, if you wanted to perform both a unique name change and a move to another parent page, you can do both at the same time. Remember to publish when you're done. Now you can use Move to move any child page to be under a different parent page, and if necessary, give it a different title, and or change its URL at the same time. When we changed the unique name in the People profile, we just typed in all lowercase with no spaces needed. It was very simple. When changing a page title and URL, it can be a little different. Here's a page that was created during a recent training session. I want to shorten its title and then update the page name, which is also the URL, so that they match. And then move it to a different parent page. Here we go. Select the page by checking the checkbox to the left of the page title. Click Move. In the title field, I'm going to change this page's title to something completely different. Since the page title now no longer resembles the page name, which will also be the page URL, we also need to update the name field. Remember, all lowercase, no spaces. Where you would ordinarily want to put a space, please use a dash. It is the only punctuation this field will accept. Why a dash? Why not just smoosh all the words together? The answer is Search Engine Optimization, or SEO. Now if someone were to execute an internet search for Wankel rotary engines on the internet, the search engine would recognize each word between the dashes as separate words. If you smush them all together with no space, the search engine would not distinguish each word, but would assume that Wankel rotary engine was a single word and ignore it. Okay, so I type in the new page name into the Page Name After Move field and click Next. Now I have to select the new parent page. Is this familiar? We've done this a couple times now. We are experts. 
I'll select Trainee Pages as the new parent page by clicking the checkbox next to the page title and then go ahead and click Move. Presto, you're done. Remember to publish your changes when you're done. Technology Services is here to support you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Email lsatechnologyservices at umich.edu.